Another hard thing about the tour has been just, um, you know, we have so many great memories, but just recently uh, losing my brother Jay. Um, and we've been having a time every night in the shows where we get to, to have some friends who, from, who are different artists from over the years that we've toured with. And they all send in videos. And we have a time to remember him. We get to tell stories, man. And it just, it's been, uh, it's been a, it's been a difficult time because, but it's also been like a healing time, you know? Um, and the amount of people who've come out to the shows uh, who are dealing with some kind of loss right now, it was, it was like a staggering amount. We just asked the other night uh, uh, by a raise of hands. It was like, it was most of the audience had, had been dealing with in the last couple of years, some, some kind of loss, you know? And so it's, you know, it's something we're all kind of walking through together. Um, but I love the promises of God because, you know, that's, this tour is named after the song, all things new. And I, I really feel like God's doing a work, uh, a new work in all of us. It's kind of a, a healing and a restoring you know, work every night, which is encouraging to all of us, man. You know, well, thoughts and prayers have always been with you guys since we heard about Jay. And as, as you, as you <laughs> walk that road, um, I appreciate you sharing and being vulnerable because I know that that's one of the tricks of the enemy is to get us isolated and feel that we're the only ones and we don't understand. And certainly something is as wrenching as, as losing a brother, as losing a child, a family member, just to be able to remind people that that's not the end of the story. You mourn, but not without hope. That's exactly right. I mean, and I think that's been the other thing is like sometimes as Christians, we sort of feel like you're just supposed to suck it up and you're just supposed to only sing hallelujah all the time. But sometimes the hallelujah is just bringing where you're at, you know, just bringing that just honestly in front of God. You see David in the Psalms, man, talk himself through all kinds of, you know, stuff that he's going through. And I feel like we, we've run into some people who had had bad experiences in church because they felt like shamed for like grieving. And I'm like, man, if you, if you don't allow yourself to grieve, then, I mean, you're never going to be able to move on. It's always going to be this place that's like hung up in you. And so I was, at, I was really nervous about going out every night and having to share about Jay because it was hurting so badly. And at first, for sure, we just have to fall apart and just, just kind of let it go. But man, what I've noticed over the course of this tour is some of the places at the first of the tour where I would literally just have to break down. Now it's like, I'm really just enjoying the memory instead of having to cry over it as hard as I did. You know, it's like, it's not that I miss him any less. I mean, but there's this, I, I sense healing happening and man, that is, oh, I got to tell you, man, I'm, I'm so grateful for that. Even though the process isn't always fun, yeah. man, it is so necessary for moving forward in your life, you know? Well, thanks again for being transparent and on that. Um...